What's up, everybody? Welcome to We Have Cool Friends, the cool show where we interview our cool friends about the cool things they're doing. I'm your host, Greg, and this is our cool friend, Ray Narvaez Jr. Hey, thank you for having me. Hey, thank you for coming up? in, Ray. Uh, Twitch.tv slash brown man, of course. Thank you, thank you. Always the most awkward name for me to read whenever you do anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just stupid. I'm trying to get Twitch.tv slash Ray, but Twitch is not giving it to me. What? The, I mean, you're, but you're Ray. Uh, yeah. How are they not giving I it don't to know. you? Who I don't know. Who has it right now? It's a dead account. I, That's the worst, It's right? bullshit. It's red tape. It's a whole thing. I hate that. I Two hate things that before we begin. Sure. Uh, one, how do I get my picture on this? Can I replace the... Actually, can I be next to Cisco? Sure. That's I have, easy. I have an uncle named Cisco. It's easy. Oh, hold on. Not Here's... that Cisco. Nick! Oh, what have I done? Nick! Nick's the only one who can do it. Oh, that's so, fair. Like, I, you know, okay, I, I that's don't understand great. how to use the graphics also, package. We uh, can have it possibly done by the end of the show. We can be, come in and put it I in there. If I turn around pop, and I'm there, I might be fucking... I might flip shit. Also, a couple years ago, I was watching uh, Master Chef Junior, and sure. I made a tweet. Oh God, here we go. I made a tweet that's like, "Oh, Greg Miller didn't know you were on this show." It was yeah. a kid that you know looks, looks a lot like similar me. to you, yeah, 100%. and it kind of spiraled out of control. So that was many years ago, and I'd like to apologize. That's no, actually, you, you that's actually why I haven't been on here for years because Greg <laughs> held a vendetta. You don't have to apologize for that because that kid did look exactly. Yeah, that's like what me. I thought. But and so many people tweeted yeah, that at me. I uh, felt bad for the kid. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like eventually, this kid's like, "That's He's my future." Though. That's my baby future? Greg Miller. Is he now? Uh, well. That's what you know him as, baby Greg Miller. That's celebrity. Huh. Kevin, can we get the mic turned up over there for one Nick Scarpino? Hey, Nick, how are you? Hey, Greg, I was summoned. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I usually call for Tim, but today it's okay. Nick I thought you were calling for Tim, but I got super excited, and then the shit, the, the feeling of dread set in when I realized it was my name. I know, right? This, no, is, this is all is my good fault. One. This, oh, is yeah. the, this is the first time this has ever happened. Yeah. Uh, 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 one of our cool friends, Ray. Hey, Ray, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? He can have his photo added next to Cisco's. Oh, next? Uh, here's the thing. The space on the back wall is at a premium right now, my oh, friend. Jesus. Is it? So here's what I'll ask for you to do. I, I mean, need look, you to... it would balance perfectly. First off, Ray covers up Cisco, so he would just go, like, <laughs> yeah. right where Devin Sow is. Cisco, the, I, I think I think what we what we voted on uh, as a company was that if you put someone on the board, you got to take someone else off the oh, back wall. Sh- okay. So I need you to point at anyone on the back wall. Oh, man, we'll it's going to be a hit off. list. Who are you taking Who's off? Who's it going to be? Oh, Who's, what God. beef are you starting right now? You want to fuck with The Rock? Fuck no, I don't want to with... fuck with The Rock. Oh, I, don't, I don't recommend fucking with Devin Sow or The Rock or Cisco. You, Kevin Smith's pretty. I would say. I would too. say if I was putting people on the hit list, yeah, who could go off the back wall, mm-hmm. I would say either Freddie Prince Jr. or The Rock. How dare you? Both who are friends who have yeah. done things for us, mm-hmm. but they haven't come. To I the will show. absolutely just not, not anger The Rock. Okay, sure. Well, Fred, you, yeah, nothing Fred, can anger The Rock. Well, Freddie Prince Jr. streams on Twitch. I know. Uh, no, Re- Freddie Prince Jr. I DM with like yeah. he talks. I mean, he's supposed to come around, but he's always so I would, busy. If I have to take one, I would take Freddie Prince Jr. off. Okay, there you go. But okay. don't tell him I said that. <laughs> How about this? Hold Actually, on. can you what like? If, what if we okay. compromise, Nick? I need you to drop whatever you're doing right mm-hmm. now, whatever porn you're looking at, and instead get a photo Send it of to me. two people arms around each other and put Freddie Prince <laughs> Jr.'s face on it and Ray's face on it. Yeah, no problem. There you Deal. go. Thank you. If you can Deal. have that by the end of the show, and just, sure. we can just switch out the wall, be great. Okay, perfect. Love you. Thank you so much. I was I was just gonna gift some subs, but that works too. No, no, don't do that. No, this is how it works here. You know what I mean? I would still uh, give subs and cheer and donate and everything to kind of funny. No, no, Brown Man. Support him. No, thank you. There's so much to talk about. With there you, is. Of there course. is. Of course, this is We Have Cool Friends each and every week. Well, I say it's an irregular schedule, actually. We bring in one of our cool friends to talk to you about what it is they do and why they're so cool. If you like that, remember, subscribe to YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Uh, you can find us on Rooster Teeth. We have the podcast services around the globe thing going, too. Of course, you can watch live on Twitch.tv slash kind of funny games if you're watching. And you have... Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, a free 30-day subscri- 30 30 subscription to give away to somebody, whether it be us or Brown Man himself. We give it to, give them. It to these guys. Give it to him, because that's all, that's all you do. That is all I that. do. I want to talk about that okay. in a second here. Let's do it. Uh, of course, our sponsors today are going to be Upstart Hymns and Indochino. Uh, Kevin, I can't remember if I even checked for Patreon producers. or are there pa- You just did the screencast. No Patreon producers this month? Great. So there we go. That's all covered. Dude, he's on top of it. He is. Ray's really, uh, he's really good at his job. Ray's really good at his job, too. I try. <laughs> Where I want to start is simple, Ray. We've talked about this many a times on the internet, mm-hmm. but we've never done it in person. How cool are achievements and trophies? They are phenomenal. They are the coolest thing yeah. in gaming. Uh, I would, I fully, 100% believe, 1,000% even, that without achievements, I would not be uh, where I am today with the 360. Explain that to me. So when the 360 came out, uh, I bought it day one because I was big into Halo. Sure. All that shit. And then I discovered... You love Bill Gates. <laughs> I, big fan of Bill. Good old Billiam. Um... I discovered, like, on the RT website, it was actually integrated in your profile. You can link 
your gamer card and had yeah. like your uh, your gamer picture, your name, and then your gamer score. And I didn't get my 360 until like a couple months later. So a couple of people had it already. And then I saw like the little things. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I was uh, subscribed to official Xbox magazine. So they did some Hell articles yeah. on it. Shout out to Ryan McCaffrey. Yeah. Kind of fanboyed a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, you beat uh, him yesterday for Gamescast. And I started like looking into it. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, I don't know if I'll get into that. But as soon as I got my 360, booted up, I think it was uh, Hexic. Hexic was the first game I played because it was on every single one. Of course. And I got my first like achievement or two, and I'm like, oh, Wait a second, this I'm like, oh, I, I like that. I like the noise. I like the thing coming up. I'm like this is kind of cool. Yeah. And then I booted up Perfect Dark Zero, and then I got more. I'm like, all right, okay. And then it kind of just, I got it on and off. I didn't take it too seriously until I uh, I got GameFly. Yeah. And then the first game I perfected was an easy one. It was a baby game. It was uh, NBA 2K6, which you could finish in like 20, 30 minutes. Sure. And the I perfect. finished. I finished the game, and I'm like. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. And then I had obviously I had GameFly, so I went through and got a bunch of other like bullshit easy games. Sure. The number kept going got up Avatar, and up. Avatar, Last yeah. Airbender in there. Uh, and I'm just like, this is a ma- an amazing feeling, and it became like my main hobby. Like obviously I still play video games casually and with friends and stuff like that, but I loved getting achievements and just increasing, uh, increasing the score and just seeing it like reaching milestones, like you know a thousand, ten thousand, fifty, hundred, and so on yeah. and so forth. Um, and then some of my friends were into it as well, and it became kind of like a little friendly competition. And then as time went on, I just it just kept going and going and going. I took it. I was so hardcore about it. And then I just started making guides for it. Like, obviously, I would follow guides. And then I'm like, oh, that seems cool. Well, maybe I'll do it. And, you know, on YouTube, you can figure out how to do anything. Yeah. So I bought a, uh, a Dazzle capture card. Do people even remember what the Dazzle capture I card is? I certainly it's don't. It's an old, uh, I think it was before HD. I think it was doing like 480 at the time. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo! Well, he's in 480. Yeah, I've been making content for like 10 years, so that was like the thing. Sure. Uh, but I grabbed one of those. I got it all hooked up, learned how to use it on uh, YouTube, and started making some guides for fun. And then, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Kevin found the, the Dazzle. Dazzle DVD Give him that recorded. Razzle, Dazzle. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell Yeah. That was uh, that was the shit back then, and then eventually I upgraded to a Hot Podge HD PVR, which is like an HD one. Sure, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just kept making guides for fun, and then I learned about Achievement Hunter. I'm like, oh, this seems cool. Like they're into achievements and stuff, and yeah, then yeah. they uh, started taking uh, community uploads. So I started doing that for a while, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Did that for about two years, and then Jeff Jeffrey Ramsey, great boss, great guy, offered me a contract position for a year. Uh, I did that. So while this was happening, I Graduate high school. I Holy went, shit, you were in high school doing this? I was in high school. How old are you now? I'm 30. Okay. Uh, I, what, what year? So, yeah, start. Okay, so, you so, put a real brief so, let time me, let me back up. A brief history of So, time. yeah, when uh, 360 came out, I was in high school. Okay. Uh, did all that, blah, blah, blah. Moved uh, and went to college. That's when I started making content. This was a 2000, like 2008-ish. Okay. Um, went to college, dropped out because I only went to college because my family wanted to. Don't go to college for that reason. <laughs> Um, started working at GameStop as well. Kind of bullshit jobs here and there. Uh, made content for fun. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, then around 2010, I believe, or 2011. Sorry, my timeline is all sure. kind of wonky. Uh, is when I got, I was unemployed at the time. I was collecting unemployment. Um, yeah. I was trying <laughs> to find One semester jo- of college. You what, yeah, I'm like, ah, I'm fucked. <laughs> um, but, and then Jeff offers me this contract. I'm like, awesome. I'll get some, you know, some. Were you already in Texas? No, I was okay. in New York. It was Queens, oh, New wow. York. Okay, okay. I, I went to high school in Long Island. I moved to Queens, New York. Uh, moved in with my dad. Then he moved in with his girlfriend at the time, and I just took the apartment. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I, I did the contract for a year. The only money coming in was unemployment and, and the contract money. And after the year was up, I was like, hey, Jeff, this has been a lot of fun, and I want to keep doing it, but I need to do it at a full-time job because I can't you know, live like this yeah, anymore. Yeah. Thankfully... My family was super supportive and helped me out. And honestly, without them, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. Uh, they would be bringing me food and buying me groceries and this and that, like shit I couldn't afford. Sure. And then Jeff was like, okay, let's uh, let's have a call. So we have a call. Most nervous I've been in my life. It was like a 10-minute call. I believe it was him and, oh God, I think it was him and Jack or him and Matt Hollum. I could be wrong. could be all three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeff was there. Uh, and we have the call. I'm like, cool, that went great, I think. And I'm just like dying over here. Uh, like half an hour later, he's like, all right, cool. Yeah, we'll hire, we'll hire you. Can you move in two weeks? I'm like, absolutely. So, uh, and that just, I moved in. What year was that? This was 2012. Okay. Uh, and then I moved to Texas and I began April, like 19th or 18th, middle of April yeah. in 2012. I left New York, left my family. They were a c- crying mess. 
uh, me too. Uh, but then I got there and, you know, did did my time there. So I, two th- two stops here. On, okay. I want to put pins in the map on. Time out. When before the contract stuff happens, yeah, you are unemployed. You're collecting unemployment. Yeah, you're, you're working random jobs trying to figure this yeah. out. Your family's bringing you food. What's your mindset there? My mindset is I want to work at Achievement Hunter because I know okay. Achievement Hunter. Was it was established at that point? Like I was an RT fan since high school. Sure. Like watching Red vs. Blue and all that shit. How and long? That, when did Achievement Hunter start? Oh god. Ballparkish. Ooh. Like when you got there, had they were they already going? When like I five got there, years? they were there for like f- shit. Maybe four years. I'd have to look it up. But I think they've been around. If yeah. you're watching live on twitch.tv slash Please let me know. Games, you I'm think sure I, you know. No, you go to kindoffunny.com I'm, I'm slash sorry, you're I'm wrong. Off, I'm awful at this. I'm looking at kindoffunny.com yeah. slash you're wrong. You can correct us on Ray's own history. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to work. I, I wanted to, at first I wanted to like make video games and I realized like, oh, that's hard. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, if I can get a job playing video games, that'd be Perfect. great. There and is, Achievement right? Hunter was the only thing I really knew. So I, you know, made, I made the community videos just for fun and to, you know, I guess put my resume out there. Sure. Start building. Something yeah. Start right building now. something, building, not even an audience, just building like people know, uh, who I am. And then, uh. Yeah, when the, the time came for it, I, you know, shot my shot. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I might as well. Did you your know. family see that this was the path all along, or when they forced you to go to college? And they you forced me to go to college. college. Are you done? When I was like, You're a fucking failure. When I was <laughs> when I was doing this, they they were supportive, but they didn't believe like there was a career in it because I mean, this is early 2010s. So like, workers. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, you gotta give me this shot, right? Like, they were very supportive, and they're like, you know what, he's. It's twenty two. Uh, was about like twenty one at the time. You, they're like, you're young. You know, if you take a shot and it fails miserably, then you know you're still young. You can do whatever. So yeah. they're like, work on the Long Island Sound. Y- yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, they're like, yeah, go for it. We don't know, and we kind of want you to keep applying for things, which I didn't do. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you're like, got it. Got it, mom. Yeah, I got, got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just kept. Like all my energy and all my time went toward this as silly as is playing games, making content, all sure. that stuff. And then thankfully it all paid off and I got the job and I moved over there. And thankfully I was able to kind of once I got settled down in Austin, let them know that everything's okay. I finally have like a livable income and that everything was okay. But those like three or four years when I was just making content unemployed, I'm like, this is this is rough, man. I yeah. like there are times I'm like, this ain't gonna work. You know, like I Obviously, I talked to Jeff and I talked to Jack, and you know we were we were cordial and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't say he was like my friend yet, yeah, but yeah. you know we were you know we were good to each other. Michael, I was already friends with because he he got the job for from for Rage Quit essentially, yeah. And you know me and him would talk all the time, and he was like, "Oh, you should apply and this and that." I'm like, "I fuck, you know, like what are the chances, right?" And uh, I think I just waited long enough, and I had enough of a resume that it worked out. So as somebody who knows jack shit about Rooster Teeth, when okay. you got there, <laughs> yeah. was Achievement Hunter still Achievement Hunting? Yeah. Or was... Okay. When I was hired on, I was hired on to help with uh, Achievement Guides. Yeah. This was before, you know, we did any Let's Plays or anything like okay. that. So it was just uh, uh, the five of us in the office, sometimes, you know, Ryan's so six in that small office, and we would, you know, just strictly work on recording guides and all the Easter eggs and all that shit as yeah. well. So does that feel like a night and day transition to what you uh, what achievement hunter ha- is is now but yeah. even what it was when you left in 2015 i left right? 2015 yeah, yeah. yeah well in 2015 we had shifted away from achievement guys because frankly they're not they were never getting that many views mm-hmm. because the people who are watching them sometimes are watching for like the personalities or whatever but the people who are watching it especially something like say a collectible guide are mainly watching for that game yeah and those would as helpful and as great as those guides are they did the least view wise sure um well i mean at that point right there's trillions yeah exactly exactly those things but it made sense that we transitioned into let's plays because they were you know they were popular at the time and you know we had the dynamic of you know five or six of us in one room and the multiple cameras and uh stuff like that so it made sense from a transitional standpoint as much as i love doing achievement guides even till the end i would do achievement guides and just record them at home just because i still like them they were so that's what i came up doing yeah yeah, yeah. um and i would knock them out and be like hey jeff i recorded and did these four guides he's like yeah you could upload them um, I will always have a special place in my heart for stuff like that, but yeah, it made sense to. God bless to everybody who does achievement trophy guides, man. Yeah, they Every are the unsung them, like, heroes, 100%, especially yeah. for people who do like guides for these very obscure games. Yep. They are 
Teach me how to platinum it in as fast as yeah, possible. Yeah, and then you're, I'll, I'll sub to you, man. Thank exactly. you. Uh, Nick Scarpino is back. I assume the job's already done. Hey, guys. Yeah, I was, I was, so I was a little confused on uh, oh what we wanted. I yeah. think I nailed it. I think I got it right. Oh, fuck me. Wow. So what I was supposed to do was just it's leave Ray. Cisco, right? And Ray everything else is place. supposed to be Ray? I mean, that's, that we correct? can leave it for this episode. This is sure. easily the best and worst moment of my life. Wow, okay. So you're in a Dream Daddy cutoff here. Yeah, I was. I voiced the character in Dream Daddy. Okay. So they wanted me to model the shirt, and sure. I'm like, sure. You did it. Uh, yeah. I just, I you modeled it well. It Unrelated, really well. I have an OnlyFans. So if you want to see me naked, <laughs> please subscribe to my OnlyFans. This one is my favorite you right lose. there, top right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like an emote. Right. That's, that's really, really good. Yeah. I think the framing on that's great. Yeah, you did a great job. Thanks. Thank I want to call a special attention to the, the one two hit of you and then the bottom half of you <laughs> over there on the left. That's my. <laughs> Hell really yeah. Bad. Good job, Nick. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. You. Thank you very much. That's why we don't ask him to do much around here. I, I don't know why he killed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did really, did really, really yeah. well there for sure, for sure. Um, so then, as Achievement Hunter does evolve and change into yeah. Let's Play and stuff, are you feeling that? Are you vibing with that? Do you yeah, like for that? a while, I'm absolutely, I'm all, I'm all about it. Playing yeah. different games, you know, Minecraft was fresh on the console. GTA, we started with GTA Four, and GTA Five came out, and that opened our whole thing. We started doing it. I think we, I think it was one day a week. I think it was just on Friday. I could be wrong. And then we upped it to. Three a week, Monday, uh, Monday, Monday, Monday Wednesday, good old, old Monday, Monday. <laughs> uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I think one of those days was designated for PC, and then eventually it evolved to every day, Monday is GTA, Friday is Minecraft, and then in the middle is just whatever. Yeah, um, and we did that for a while, and then it was great, and then eventually it just I got I got burnt out. Yeah, to the point where like the last year I like, and I regret this. I just kind of just like completely zoned out didn't really give a shit because i'm like at the end of the day i know people are going to watch minecraft and gta no matter what if it's not minecraft and gta it'll do okay because they're so like hyper focused on those totally. games and i just felt you know we had kind of plateaued because we haven't really changed like all these people like game grumps markiplier jacksepticeye all these guys have just like soaring and we were just kind of like stagnant and sure. i'm just like we're not really changing here i feel like we should but you know i'm just a guy you yeah know? you're part of the team. yeah i'm a part yeah, of a yeah. team and and you know gta and minecraft always did well so we would never like move away from that but i just yeah i just got burnt out and i kind of had this like who cares attitude this was me <laughs> at 20 early 20s early mid 20s and sure i look back on that i'm like that's you know that's shitty that wasn't fair to the audience or right, stuff yeah, like that it's a way it's a way a yeah. kid would act right yeah like, exactly you know, when, you're, fucking, when you're a dumb yeah. kid you think you know it all i know i know that well um yeah so i highly regret that and that's at the time i discovered streaming uh, the first thing I ever saw on Twitch uh, that caught my eye was the Awesome Games Done Quick sure. speedrunning charity marathon. And that's how I discovered it. And I didn't take the jump into streaming myself until December of 2013 because Tina, my fiance, yeah. uh, she's like, hey, I think you'd be really good at this. I think you'd like this. I set this up. Uh, yeah, just do it. See what you think. And uh, I did it. I played Dead Rising 3, uh, uh, Achievement Hunting. Yeah. Really set the bar of what I was going to be doing going forward. <laughs> and uh, people showed up, and it was great. I love just hanging out at home, playing games, interacting. The interaction is what I'm all about. Yeah. Is just talking to people and shooting the shit and kind of just, uh, you know, building a little community. And then, you know, over time, as I got tired of Achievement Hunter and just doing all the Let's Plays and stuff and falling in love with streaming, I felt like it was just a natural transition at some point. I was, I thought about it for, I thought about it on and off for, couple of months and then toward the end i was like very heavily considering it and then i'm just like i i think i should do it i think it's the right time yeah i've talked to some people about it uh th ironically enough some of the people who i used as like inspiration were you guys when you separated mm. from uh ign, IGN. Yeah. and alfredo as well yeah, of course yeah um how the turntables i know right? <laughs> look at that uh but you guys were inspired like i saw like oh they, they left they did their own thing and they're doing great and i'm like fuck you know maybe i can do that so I, I told Jeff, like, hey, I'm going to go to New York for over the weekend. I'm going to talk to my family about this. Went to New York, uh, talked to them about it. That was a whole different conversation. They were like, they're like, what? They're like, what? Playing you got a job playing home. video games yeah. with, like, um, a guaranteed income, and you have, you know, these benefits and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to try to explain to them, like, what Twitch was, why I think I can do well, and to, like, trust in me. Yeah. And they were like, Fuck, you were right the first time, right? I guess try it again. <laughs> we gotta right? do this yeah, again. Swing we gotta again. You here. And then uh, I got back to Austin, and this meeting I had with Jeff was the worst 20 minutes of my life. Sure. Jeff was 
no, he was super nice, super kind, super understanding, but it's just like, I would have rather died than have that meeting. Sure. It was like super emotional. And I'm just like, I'm going to leave and do like streaming full time. And like, no one really had left at Rooster Teeth at that point. Like, a, I don't want to say like a big name, like, oh, I'm a big name, but like, I, a, like, I, a, like a personality. As of some, yeah. somebody looking in, no, you're, I yeah. don't think you're too And it was, horn. it was. Not to mention that I think, as crazy as it sounds, it was a way different Rooster Teeth then. Now, granted, it was. I don't know if it is it's the same for you. When I talk about 2014, 2015, I feel like, oh, well, two years ago. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, that was five yeah, years was, ago. Almost now. like a lifetime ago. Exactly. But it was a different Rooster Teeth. Of, like, you talk about the small office. Right? Yeah. Like, I remember when I came down for the Gauntlet season two and met everybody mm-hmm. the first time and understood what Rooster Teeth was to some extent. I remember walking through that office. I'm like, oh, cool. And then the next time I came, it was like, oh, no, now we're over here. Yeah, well, now we're in this warehouse. Warehouse. And it was like, what? Oh, and now, and every time we go now, like, well, it took over that warehouse. Yeah, yeah that warehouse we took up that warehouse it's when like, i went over there recently to record an off topic just talking to them and they're like oh yeah we have people in like all of these buildings i'm like jesus christ right i remember when it was just like all of us in the one building i forgot the address but there was like 30 or 40 employees when i got hired i was like employee number 32 33 yeah or something like that um but yeah we have that meeting he's totally understanding and i'm just like i'm like emotionally drained oh, yeah. um but i still feel like it was it was the right move for me, and I, Jeff totally understood. Um, so I then I have to go tell everyone else I had Achievement Hunter, and I'm like, I'm gonna, f- Jesus. Um, but we do that. Do you cry? At home, I do. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like hold it together. Sure. Um, Better man than me. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm getting emotional now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was hard because I worked so many years to get there. I got there, and it was great for a while, but then I just kind of fell out of it. Sure. And then I'm and there's like, so much wrapped up in that, right? Yeah. Where it is the fact that you remember being on the outside wanting it more than anything. Uh-huh. And then getting there and loving it for a loving long it, time. Yeah. And then, and then being th- in this place th- now. Things like, happen. Ugh. Things change. Yeah. And, you know, out, out of my control. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do that. And, you know, everyone is super understanding, super kind. And uh, yeah, I finished recording whatever we were like in the middle of. I think we had like a mini golf series that we finished. And then, uh, you know, I go off and do my own thing. First, uh, do my first stream, April 18th, 24, uh, 15, 15, yeah. 15, thank you. First independent stream. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it went phenomenally well. Yeah. It went very, very well. The support was overwhelming, and at that point, after that stream was over, I took a deep breath, and I'm like, I'm going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. And that was five years ago, almost five years ago. Yeah, and you've been okay. Yeah, I've been totally fine. I was able to, uh, you know... Uh, Help my family out a couple of times that they've needed. I've been able to move to a bigger space and, you know, start a merge company and do all this stuff. And uh, yeah, things have been things have been great. Still, still growing, still doing well. And uh, I'm very thankful and very blessed to be where I am. Well, I think that's the thing that I salute you for. Let alone all the other streamers we know, but especially you with the company, the the, yeah. the merge company, and everything else is the fact that. You know, kind of funny in how well we've been able to do and have employees yeah. and have studios and get a new studio, all this different stuff. It's all awesome because there's other people here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is that idea that, you know, having the other co-founders, having the, the employees now, all these different resources and mm-hmm. ideas, like, it makes it so much easier to grow and do this stuff. Yeah. Like, if it would have been just me that left and I would have gone to... I mean, I remember when I was streaming on my own, too. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I was doing that in part with the YouTube stuff. <laughs> and it was the idea that I'd go home and, like, okay, I'm turning on the Avery Media. And, of course, yep. it doesn't work right. And it's just enforcing... Reinforcing yep. all my opinions about why I hate PCs, period, let yep. alone for gaming or anything else. Like... To have left and done that all on your own and have no one to turn to in terms of, like, you have a Kevin to toss yeah. everything at or bounce an idea That's off why of. I'm so thankful I have Tina, yeah. who is my fiance. Now we've been together. It'll be six years in uh, March. She was... The, thank you. Thank you. Hopefully get married this year. It's Hopefully. Hopefully. It's one of those things. You know you have a backlog of games. I have a backlog of very important life events. Sure, yeah, 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 Get yeah. married, get a license, that whole thing. Yeah. Um, uh, real quick, we only got one you're wrong so far in your episode, and it's okay. from Tina, who says Ray doesn't cry. That well, that's true. I I try to I hide it a lot. <laughs> You're just an she, emotional she, rock. She cries enough for both of us. She's very <laughs> emotional. Um, yeah, she was there obviously since day one, helping me with anything, figuring out all this thing, whatever, whatever well, the issue. Fact that she set it up apparently. She right? set yeah, it up. Yeah. yeah, we had a we had a buddy named Kyle who also helped us out. Shout out to Kyle. And um, yeah, no matter what issue there was or whatever I I wanted or dreamt up for as far as like alerts or emotes or whatever, she would yeah. make it happen. And to this day, she still helps me because I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to this shit like she sets it up i hit start and if it doesn't work i'm like tina tina help <laughs> um yeah 
uh, yeah, I with without her, I would not be where I am streaming and you know with it, everything. Literally, she was the best thing that's ever happened to me. So you have that first stream; it works. Yeah, sigh of relief. Yeah, uh, is it literally just an upward trajectory from there? You never worry about it again. Everything's fine. I, I to this day, I still worry. Every time I start a stream, I'm like, no one's gonna watch me today. Yeah. Everyone's just gonna be like, fuck you, you suck. We moved on to something else. I don't know if all streamers have that or if it's just me, but. You know, it's the first stream. Obviously, when you have like a big first stream, you're coming to Twitch. You know, numbers are totally of spiked course. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then it like um, <clears throat> it evens out. When it evens out, it plateaus or whatever. Uh, I'm like, okay, I'm at a good amount of viewers, subscribers, all that stuff. You know, I'll be fine. Now it's all about just maintaining or growing the channel over the years. Yeah. But after the first, after the first, I would say two months go by, and everyone, you know, all their subs either renew or run out, all that shit. Uh, I'm like, okay, I'm good. And then it's just all about what normalcy is. Yeah. yeah, taking what I have and keeping it going or or growing it. Uh, like I said, and this was this was back before things like bits and sub gifting and Twitch Prime. Yeah. And I think I don't think like whispers were a thing on Twitch. So um, now I think Twitch Twitch makes it very easy for streamers, you know, to, to monetize their streams. Sure, make it uh, into a business. Yeah, exactly. Uh, back then, I mean, they were they still had subs and stuff like that. Oh, tier subs was another thing they didn't have. Yeah. Um, Back then, it was just like, all right, I have subscriptions, and I have donations, and that's it. And then I just have to take that. Your tip and, jar. Yeah, the good, old, the good old tip jar. I hate when people say donation. Sometimes I say it too because I interchange oh, the yeah, words, it's but the it's completely thing. different. Yeah, it's a yeah, tip yeah. jar. Um, and then I know some people feel weird, rightfully so, about asking for subs or asking for tips or cheers and this and that. And I'm just like, I, it's just part of the game, man. Right. I think it's just part of the part of the. Twitch ecosystem, the tw- uh, the Twitch just, you know. Well, it's, it's I think, 100% going back to what we were talking about earlier of the fact that launching this in 2015, while it seems like yesterday, and for most people watching here, this is all stuff we all take for granted now yeah. that this is just it, it wasn't. I remember people not understanding what we were doing yeah. and not believe, and really not into our and our friends talking to us like this is going to be way tougher. It was it was a leap of faith. It. Yeah. it was a leap of faith. And it was that idea that like the tools were about, were there to do what we wanted to do but would also grow with you, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but I went like the full opposite. I'm like, "You know what? I'm just going to embrace the sellout culture. Listen, <laughs> give me money. If you don't give me money, fuck you, but not really clearly." Yeah. Uh and just kind of essentially like meme it up in a way where like yeah, I'm joking. Like, uh, clearly, I would want you know money and this and that and subs. But if you don't, it's fine. You could just watch and hang out, drop a follow. I'm just happy you're watching. Yeah. But yeah, I went the complete uh, opposite with that. And then when say bits came out, for example, people were like, I don't know how I feel about this, but I just embraced them full force. Mm-hmm. And I think that's totally helped me going forward since bits have been now a thing for a couple of years that I was just embracing them. I'm like, hell yeah, bits are cool. I like them. I'll use them in other channels and this and that. And anytime Twitch implements a a new feature for the most part i'm i'm all in and the hype train yeah love the hype train the hype train's cool yeah i um but then they did something like you know channel points recently where i'm like ah i'm not crazy about it so i just turned it off instead of you know crying on twitter or whatever yeah yeah, yeah, which sucks and this and that i'm like (laughs) i just turned it off man that's also an option but um yeah it's been it's been a great five years on twitch i hope to do it as long as i can i was gonna say yeah, yeah. what's the what's the plan for this the, it's it's really just do it as long as i can i still love it every single day i mean yeah. i'm gonna be playing video games anyway even when i'm not streaming sometimes I, i'll play video games if totally. you know tina goes to bed early and the dogs are in bed for the night i'll you know I'll go hop on discord like i used to on the 360 with xbox live parties just hop on discords with some friends and just shoot the shit while playing games and getting achievements or whatever and and stuff like that. So I might as well just, you know, stream and do it as long as I can. And I like, like I said, as far as like an end goal, I don't really have an end goal. Just stream as long as I can, you know, build my community. We've, like I said, we started the merch company. We're looking into stuff like um, housing and stuff like that. So whenever I do want to like retire, we have our money in other places where I don't have to oh, yeah, yeah. worry. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that's, essentially I mean, try to be an adult. Totally. But that's, I don't have like an end goal for streaming. Just well, keep I mean, going until I get tired of it that's I guess. the smartest thing you can do right and i think what you see people prepare not, for the future yeah it's not yeah, like, it where like yeah the merch company can be the thing that one day when you don't want to be on camera how and how how many hours a day are you on generally i try to go for minimum four hours i average about five yeah exactly and you do it just about every day right uh yeah to yeah. uh take off monday and thursday yeah see so i mean like that's a, a lot and so when you don't want to do yeah. that all the time and you do want to just enjoy a game and you do want to just hang out with your wife yeah whenever you get married <laughs> I think it's important too that you take days off. There's some streamers that stream like every day, seven days a week. I'm like, you're getting, you're killing yourself doing yeah. that. You need at least one day off just to kind of like 
decompress and just not have to put on a show and try to be entertaining. Just take a day for yourself, relax, do whatever you want. Just don't stream. But so leaving and stuff. Did you have the same thing we had where people were like, I don't know about this. Like, oh, you're doing yes, it. absolutely, okay, okay. absolutely. Uh, which, to be fair, I didn't know about it either. I'm just like, I believe that this could work, so I'm gonna try. Um, yeah, I mean, the dynamic is definitely different when you're talking essentially to yourself, of course, uh, as as opposed to a group of you know two or six. And when you're not talking on a stream, there's dead air. Whereas yes. if you if, when you talk during this podcast, I can rest for yes, a second, exactly. think about where I'm that's, going, what I want to do. It's hard, so yeah. I'm constantly talking because I mean, obviously, you don't need to talk for five hours straight. But anytime there's like dead air, I'm kind of like. I know, and it, it's in my head. I'm like, I got to say something, even yeah. though you can obviously take a break and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the dynamic is different. It's easier to you know, have a conversation with two people in the same room, four yeah. people, whatever. Uh, that's why having the chat helps. Having the chat, just having you know, a conversation, bouncing off of them uh, is really, really nice. But the dynamic is, is definitely different, without a doubt. And I, I like them both. I like oh, being yeah. able to just kind of you know, hang out and talk to my community or, or something like this, which... Um, feels more natural i guess yeah but yeah a lot of people were like you know you're a fucking idiot and this and that and some more vulgar things which <laughs> i mean it's the internet th that's that's fair yeah um but yeah it's it's since calmed down substantially I sure mean, five years later yeah, yeah but there are still people to this at, every day at least one person when are you gonna go back to roost teeth yeah sorry man i don't never it's just one of those things now where after five years you've, you've like You've been nice to a point. It's like, come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Well, that's why it was cool to see you go back on off topic or go on off topic, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, for the first time, right? Like mm -hmm. the first official appearance. That was pretty recent, right? Uh, yeah, it was a couple months kind ago. Kind of a blur yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Michael DM'd me one day. He's like, hey, you want to be on off topic this week or next week, whatever? I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was cool to go back and reminisce with those guys. And yeah, that podcast like flew by the two hours, however long it was. Sure. It was yeah. a good time. Well, yeah, to get you back on camera with them and have them around. Yeah. You know, that's the biggest thing. It was great. Yeah, because I think, you know, that, I, I've talked about it. Oh, with Altano recently, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cool friends ago about, like, when we left IGN and how Fran was like, it's going to take time before we, you, everybody can be around each other. And I didn't understand it. Yeah. And then on the other side, I was like, oh, we broke up. This was yeah, a breakup. Yeah, it's essentially a breakup. And it's yeah. like, you can't, even even if you have no ill will for your ex, it's yeah. still hard to see No, it was, it was a thousand percent a breakup, and we didn't, like, you know, hate each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't anything like that. Anytime I would see them at, like, RTX or, or whatever... Let alone the fact you're going to RTX. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has to go to RTX. Uh, it's like, oh, hey, what's going on? You know, this and that. Kind of like yeah. you know, cordial, small talk. And they'd be on their way because it's RTX, so they're super busy. Yeah. But, yeah, it was kind of it was kind of like a breakup. Yeah. And it's always fucked up, right? Because it's a breakup in front of thou thousands hundreds of, of people, thousands of people that all yeah, have I'm an like, opinion fuck. and a feeling yeah, and whatever. Exactly. And that's all valid, but it's yeah. also your life that you're dealing yeah. with and trying to, cr you know, how do you make any of that work? The one thing I loved about when you left, uh, on top of you just leaving, which is yeah. cool, uh, I love that Rooster Teeth uh, higher ups had reached out to us when you were getting ready to leave, and they didn't tell us what it was about. But they're like, "When you guys left IGN, what did they do wrong? What would you? What do you wish they would have done differently?" Mm -hmm. And I remember not understanding about we when we hung up the phone or the email or whatever yeah, what it was. was I remember about? me and Tim looking at each other and be like, "Something's about to happen." Yeah, that was weird. And yeah. then it was you, and they did handle it like pretty excellently, yeah. I thought, in terms of saying goodbye to you and like, "Here's yeah. where he's going, and here's what's going to happen," right? Because that had always been our problem. I think privately of leaving IGN was yeah. the idea that like, all right, they, cool, but don't say kind of funny. Don't say, don't promote where you're going. Yeah. Don't do that stuff. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And I think mm. if that was to happen now, it would be a completely different ball of wax. Yeah, right. Yeah. But again, it was tip of the sword stuff of nobody understands what's happening. Nobody is this going to encourage everyone to go do this. You know, of course yeah. not. But there's a very specific crazy person that would go off and be like, I'm going to do this all the time. So, when you get out there and go, do you know that your whole goal is just going to be to get achievos? <laughs> uh, for streaming, it was just I didn't strictly want to do achievement hunting. It was just obviously part of just who I am and what I like doing in video games. I'm just like, I'll play whatever, you know, whatever people want. You know, I'll take suggestions and maybe play some older stuff I missed. So throughout the years, it was just like, I'll play whatever. And then if there was ever like a dead day where I like, I didn't know what to play or nothing new, new came out that week, I'm just like, I'll just do achievements and chill. Nice shirt. Where can I get that shirt? frameratemerch.com it is a company owned by me and tina we do everything oh. uh in austin texas you get this hat as well this actually got restocked today there's gonna be a trophies and chill shirt greg Finally. greg miller called me into existence. greg miller called me on my stream and he's like make that shirt and i'm like gotta make the shirt so it's coming soon we will uh oh thanks gamer you didn't have to do that hey there it is yay please buy our merch <laughs> tina's at the store right now and God, uh she will package it today wow um yeah. 
Hey, Kevin, if you yeah, guys Kevin ever, loves your pins. If you guys ever want anything, please just no, we'll let, let us we'll support you. Don't worry. Um, what were we talking about? Fuck me. We're talking about uh, uh, getting achievements. Oh, yeah, getting get, me yeah, achievements. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anytime there's a, and then a, I called you on stream. <laughs> yeah. uh, anytime there's like a dead day, I'll be like, oh, I'll do some achievements and chill. I'll put on some music and I'll just shoot the shit and talk to chat. And um, it's always been like a good safety net, which I feel like as a streamer you always need if you know you're your bread and butter, your bread, yeah, back, yeah, your safe plan. something to fall back on. So uh, yeah, I do that. And some of those streams are some of the oddly like the most hype streams with like support. Yeah, I'm just like playing some bullshit game for achievements, but I don't know, people just kind of like it because it's essentially me and like my natural habitat, right? I was right? going to say, right, that's the just thing Just kind of like yeah. a gremlin playing this like kids game, like, yeah, 100 gamer score. Um, yeah, we're, we deal with the same thing where, you know, we're just in 2020 trying to stream again because we yeah. really stopped streaming video games on our channel and now that we're doing it at least once a week, there is that idea of like, well, when we get to the point where we can do it more or do we want to recycle in a show that is Greg just getting cheap platinums? Yeah, yeah. Because there is something like, awesome about that and just it's that, a good feeling yeah exactly. that's, i mean seeing the number go up and seeing the the trophy of the achievement pop is still you know oh god how long is the xbox 360 been out? like 15 years or something like that yeah right it would have been what 2005 so 14 and a half years give or take yeah maybe 2006 it's uh like however long it's been. no no 2005 2006 was ps3 um i still love it i still love it to yeah. this day yeah so your score right now, as I look on trueachievements.com. Great okay. website. That's where. I, okay, cool. Because that th this that, is that, that is the website if you want to track and get guides and stuff like that. True achievements. Because it was the you know the idea of like when I was like bringing up your stuff, it was that thing of like I I know PSN profiles by heart, right? Yeah. And when I want when I want PSN trophy profiles guides. is also another great site for walkthroughs like sometimes yeah. oh, yeah. shit's not on true achievements or whatever i'll go to psn profiles and it's right there i'm like oh this the list is probably the same so i could just follow that so big Play, fan of playstation PSN. Uh, psnprofiles.com is great and then playstation trophy yep. org they they yep. really use guys. all three of, of course you have oh no yeah. i know it, it, yeah, yeah. the crossover right? changeable i've obviously used achievement guides for my trophies or whatever yeah but it was that idea today of like all right and i'm like fuck what is the best site <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> yeah it was like shit okay cool shout so, out to uh do you have you followed any of Maka's guides, Maka ninety one productions. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. He's in the chat. Big friend of mine. There you go. Shout out to Maka, the voice of God. So you got right now two point one five million gamer score. And true achievement score. Yeah. True oh, achievement score. Oh, oh, so your gamer score. My gamer score is one point three million. Uh, I see how true it is. achievement works where see, I'm trying to I, I know Greek and I'm trying to read Latin <laughs> right now. <laughs> so so I, I don't I don't know how the algorithm works, but essentially true achievements will take a game and then they'll take everyone who's played the game. And depending on how many people have unlocked uh, an achievement, they'll assign it a score. So right. if, say, beating a game on hard is like 50 gamer score, they'll take everyone who signed up on the site, not all over Xbox, of course. Uh, see how many people have played the game, how many people have unlocked the achievement, and then they'll assign it a more appropriate true achievement score. So finishing the game might net you 50 gamer score, but because you know a bunch of people played it and not many people have the achievement, they'll give it like 110 true achievement score, kind of just give you an idea of how truly difficult this game is so that's why if you pick a game it might have like a 2412 true achievement score because they do that with all the achievements and it's just kind of a cool uh, another cool number to see go up essentially yeah of course yeah there, there's like a true trophies as well and i think a true steam there is a true, well. yeah. true trophies they hit me up the other day with uh, my stats or whatever hell for yeah it. yeah and psn profiles does the same thing where it has leaderboards for yeah it psn profiles is great i yeah. do like psn profiles a lot so then at 1.3 like you, you obviously you talked about you have big milestones yeah. that you're hitting. You did a big thing for a million, obviously. Yeah, I did a big thing for every hundred k. I would record it and put it on up, uh, record it and put it on YouTube as kind of just kind of like a log. And then I went, once I reached a million, I'm like, all right, I'll take a break because I feel like one to a million was super impressive. But now yeah. maybe I'll do like one point five. I think is the next one. I'll do a whole thing for. Um, and yeah, hitting those milestones is always very very cool, especially back then when it was harder to get achievements and because when it first came out it was like the wild west you know games would launch with king kong can be done in two seconds yeah, exactly. and this other game will take you 400 hours yeah like, exactly perfect dark zero will take you 100 hours king kong three day, like three hours yeah um and there were games launching like condemned launch with like 970 gamer score because why the fuck not and xbox live arcade games were only 200 yeah back then where now everything is a thousand no matter how hard how easy whatever it's a thousand gamer score so getting you know, depending on how hardcore you are about it, getting like 10,000 gamer score, 15,000 gamer score in a month is, it's nothing. Yeah. Depending on what games you've played and haven't played. So um, I still enjoy it, but it's definitely 
much easier now than it was so back, how do you back in feel my day. about that because that's the whole thing yeah. of where this comes down i remember for in for trophies being the same way yeah. of like uncharted launches and super stardust and i remember oh well, super stardust was yeah. first actually then uncharted start uncharted was the first platinum and going through and all stuff and it was like wow this is crushing was crushing to try to yeah, get yeah, those yeah. things and now yeah it is like all right jen's getting ready I can crank out this 20 yeah, minute Yeah, exactly. No, I can no knock out this game. I can no get problem. on Vita real quick. By the way, this is the start of the hardcore achievement and trophy talk. So, uh, get ladies, out if you don't want ladies, it. sit down because <laughs> you're going to get a little moist watching and hearing this. Um, sorry. He fits right in here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I told you this is my interview. So, I'm, I'm on the fence because obviously I liked when it was a little harder to get gamer score, a little more challenging um, when you would play a five-hour movie-based game, which yeah. really doesn't happen anymore, kind of got kind of a little, you know, a little nostalgic for it, for example. Like, <laughs> recently, an Ice Age game came out, right? Movie-based game. Took, oh, like, yeah. four hours. Oh, but yeah. When I was playing it on stream, I'm like, I haven't played a movie-based game for achievements in a while, and I did kind of get nostalgic playing things like you know, Wally and Up and Kung Fu Panda. Which Cloudy Kung with a Chance of Meatballs. Yeah, Cloudy right? with a Chance. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I know, brother. I'm um, addicted. <laughs> but at the same time, I also do like the weekly Rattalaka game that I can finish in 20 minutes just to see the numbers God go up. God bless. Is it Rattalaka or Rattalika? I, I, I always say Rattalaka. I always say Rattalika, and I don't know. Yep. And they're always like, in my DMs, like, here's codes for all the regions. I'm <laughs> like, like, thanks. Hell yeah. um, Foxy Land 2, here we go, three but times. I, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I, I see, I, I sit in the middle. I see both sides of the argument. Um, like getting achievements and gamer score at this point is way too easy, especially if you have disposable income to buy these sure. bullshit games. Uh, which, to be fair, some of them are good, but I mean they'll take like fifteen minutes or whatever. Totally, and that, that's what I. It, when, as much as I talk about trophies on all the shows, it always is that thing of like, oh, I was playing this Rattle Leaky game, and then there's the thing of it's a good game with a cheap trophy list, yeah. or it's a garbage game with a cheap yeah, trophy yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's really you, it's a coin flip with them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but I do like seeing the number go up and, and yeah. go higher and higher and higher and i mean with the group of my, my group of friends who still uh, achievement hunt for the most part i mean we're all playing it right it's kind of like the gimme yeah essentially like some of us will branch off and do harder things like you know the witcher 3 or like destiny or something like that but yeah. we'll all come together and be like foxy land 2 let's knock that out in an hour all right back to our back to our <laughs> scheduled games <laughs> um that's how it works we always have like a main game we're working on or two games we're working on and then we have like all right, this game came out. We'll knock it out. Take a break. Well, I feel thing. like, and I think you probably have it the same way I do, is that there is, when you're in the commitment, yeah. To, like right now, like I'm playing uh, Patapon 2 Remaster, which obviously is a game near and dear to my heart. Yeah. It has a whole bunch of trophies that require time. And it's been a rough week in terms of like a lot of work. And then I go home and I want to see my wife. That. So I, no, 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 <laughs> I don't, I, no, 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 no. I don't mean rough like bad. I just mean like there's so much going on that I'm yeah, not yeah, going yeah. home you're putting on headphones yeah, yeah. for eight hours playing Patapon. And so like I'm working on that. And, and it's that thing of I'm enjoying that game and I love playing all sorts of games and I love that game period regardless of trophies. But as I'm playing it, it is that thing of like, man, I wish I was getting more trophies. Yeah. So when it is that, oh, hey, I have 30 minutes. Why not? Uh, before something happens. And like I've been doing working on the Peace Walker uh, plat too, right? Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, cool, I have 30 minutes. And sure, I could chip away at some stuff. But I'm also kind of brain dead right now. Why not go into my PS4, the cheap Platinum's folder I have with all the Rattle <laughs> games yeah. piled up. Play one of those for 20, 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's like a folder of shame. It's like worse than a porn folder. It's like, oh, these totally. are all my 10-minute fucking completions. That's why no I want one, to no one clear them all out. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I, go, I don't even give them the dignity on my Vita <laughs> of putting that. And my Vita... Uh, my video has one screen where everything's alphabetized in yeah. different folders. The cheap platinums are just on their own page. All, <laughs> all haps, <laughs> just a couple of pages away. You got to work haphazardly, yeah, yeah. just sitting around, right? But I want to knock those out, and then it feels like, all right, cool. Even though I'm investing time into this game, I truly love and enjoy playing. I've also done something for the score. Yeah, I've yeah, also yeah. done something for the level. You need, you need your hit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. Tina calls it the uh, the thrill of the gamer score. Yeah. So call, she'll go to bed, and she's like, "I'm like, I'm gonna go to my office for a little bit." She's like, "Ah, uh, chasing the thrill." I'm like. Yes, I am. Right She's like, all right, rains, I'll see you right in the morning. The yeah, rains, I need right, a hit. Yeah, yeah. Can, I, uh, can I get a water by chance? Sure, can anyone? You? Please and thank you. Kevin, you want me, can you go get a water? Do you want me to slack out thank for a Thank you very much. I'm I'll sorry. figure it out I, is I Kevin's answer. <laughs> I should have grabbed one. I'm totally unprofessional. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, no, so, nothing's professional about this year. Look at the wall. That's fair. <laughs> that's still there. God damn it. What's up? Ice? Uh, no ice, please. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about trophies for a second and the fact sure. that you can uh, stack, essentially, oh, yeah. your games. Sure. So for the people who don't know, I think stack has two meetings for us. So stacking difficulties in an achievement or trophy list is you beat a game on hard and you get the achievements for beating it on normal and easy. So those are called they would stack. They would the difficulty, difficulty stack. achievements stack. A lot of games do it. Some don't. 
it sucks. Whatever. If they don't, that sucks. And it's usually a break. For me in a trophy list, and I'd love to hear yep. about you and achievements, like when I look at what'll be a no go platinum for me or not even chasing, yeah, yeah. is usually when it's like, all right, cool, play it on this difficulty and then this difficulty. Yeah. With like the exception of Uncharted, it's like, I'm not about that life because I just don't have much time. Yeah, like, yeah. If I've played it once, I want to be able to play it and then go it back and clean it up. It should be assumed if you beat it on hard, clearly you can beat it on of course. normal yeah, yeah, yeah. and easy or, or whatever. So and that's most sucks. of the time now, that's, that's not that's yeah. fixed Thank that you very way. much. Uh, and then stacking um, games, for example, is so when games release, they have an achievement trophy list. Sometimes they'll be released on different platforms or different regions. So Minecraft, for example, has something like 10 separate achievement lists because it's like Xbox One, 360, uh, PC, Switch. Then it's got like phones and like a VR mode and stuff like that. So if, if you're lucky with Xbox, you'll get generally two. It'll be like, back then it was 360, Xbox One. Yeah. Now it's Xbox One and Windows 10. So like A Plague's Tale, for example, just got added to Game Pass for both Xbox and PC. And they added a PC achievement list for it, a nice. Windows 10 list. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much what you get on Xbox. Sometimes you get more if they come out in different regions, like you know PAL or Japanese or whatever. On PlayStation, you get the different regions on PS4 and Vita. Yeah. So you can platinum the same game like four or six times yeah if you bring in uh lists out of asia that's how you can start really racking it up but so the idea is that you have like we'll use me as an example i have my north american psn account right mm -hmm. and then I, ha I started a dummy uh japanese account yeah so the japanese account is then based on my same home uh unit and i call it that's it knows that it's its master account so yep. what i'll do is i'll get codes for games because it's always they do try to stop you when you they go do. on there and try to buy stuff, they're, they're like, no, 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 no. This is an American credit card. Yeah. You can't do this. But if you can get codes or buy through like Play Asia, you can buy uh, PSN cards to then put the money on there. Mm -hmm. uh, and this works for, I'm sorry, UK stuff too, Japanese. How sexy do we sound right now, we sound Kevin? Awesome like, right how now. are you doing over there? So you game the system by either buying <laughs> the PSN codes yeah. and getting money I've or done all of this. Of course, or yeah. you get codes from the developers or whatever. And then basically, if you're saying my Japanese uh, game over Greggy or my European game over Greggy, that's yeah. the home console, they can download there and then anybody can play them on that thing. So mm -hmm. for like Foxy Lane 2 that just dropped, right? I have the Platinum in the North American version, the European version, and then on top of that, the Vita version, yep. which has his own trophy list. Every time I see those posts, I'm like, hell yeah, Greg, get yeah, those you know, trophies. Yeah, you know, I yeah. love the comments like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, you don't even know. You don't even know, man. You're not, you even know you're not that happening. deep into it. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you like that or do you think it cheapens kind of the same thing with me, right? Do you yeah. like that or do you think it cheapens like your overall platinum and your playstation was it level right? yeah okay. exactly yeah yeah i i like it i don't care i like the wild west attitude to it and i know this is i see uh brian from ps4 trophies uh, raging on twitter all the time about love it. love brian watches videos all the time very very, very another great uh, YouTube good guide channel. maker yeah, yeah ps4 trophies you need to follow uh but he has the exact opposite where he's like he's like banging the gavel calling for order of like there needs to be this and there needs Mike to is be the same sanctions way. he's like there has to be like you know something you, yeah. you can't just be putting essentially mobile games on console for like 10 minutes to pump your score up. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nice, but like there's got to be – it's a, it's almost, just, almost essentially like shovelware. It's – but it's for me like – But I love it. So exactly. <clears throat> and it's the, it's the fact that guess what? Like anybody can look at my trophy list and be like, oh, he's just a trophy whore. Yeah. Like that's the thing is I'm not a hunter. Like I, I look at things. I'm like that's too hard. That's too time consuming. I'm not going to go do that. I'm not – like Andrew Goldfarb, right? hunts specific things like persona where he gets the persona Hardcore. he gets persona 5 in japanese before release plays through it in japanese and platinums it in japanese like that's Jesus. another level of dedication like a turbo that, weeb exactly that, <laughs> <laughs> that i don't have and don't want to have yeah and so i don't see the problem because it, i would never it, I, I mean jokingly and trollingly yeah. i would have like oh man i have all and i'm like i have more platinums than you and a better level <laughs> yeah. and it's like well no i fucking earn all my shit i do i play uh Josh Gravelick, uh, from uh, our, our community, of course, the Platinum Prince, as many people know him, on the first or er, second episode of PS I Love You XOXO, we have a segment where we look through your trophy list, and he submitted Oof. his. <laughs> he submitted his after me and Blessing and Tornado yeah. other part on episode one, and Josh, you know, has been supporting Kind of Funny forever, and he literally starts it with. All right, it's me. You know how I do it. I don't know these bullshit platinums. And like, you look through his thing, and it's like, yep, you're playing real games. Yeah, no, there, there are people you can search, and they're playing like like real actual games like triple a games yeah. and stuff like that like difficult games and some people uh just you know don't care about the fluff or the bullshit they want to play the hard real games and just that sometimes maybe they'll be like all right i'll play like one or two bullshit games but it's mostly like yeah pretty hardcore like real games 
And I t- and it's a tip of the hat to that. Go get them. You know what yeah. I mean? And again, it would it never. First off, none of this fucking matters. No, none of this matters at all. We're such dork losers. This is, what, yeah, who cares? The epitome. That and like so, if you were that hung up, like and like I would never dunk on Josh. Yeah, Graham, like about it. I, I have more platinums than you. I yeah. dunk, and I don't think I do. By the yeah. way, I think Josh is still crazy. Let me open up the old PSN profile st- or the thing from that. But it is this ridiculousness of like when people get all. Not, I don't want to say high and mighty because these are my friends talking yeah, yeah. about it. But when they do, get like, oh, there needs to be. I was like, why? Like, why yeah. do we care? Let me why? have this, please. Yeah, so who gives a shit if, like, yeah, like the system. I, what's ridiculous is, again, I've been covering PlayStation so goddamn long because yeah. I'm old. I remember having a uh, when I was. You look up, great, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm, I got a hair, yeah. need a haircut, and I'm very, very silver. Yeah, um, yeah Josh Gravel, like right now, 158 platinums. That's pretty good. That's a really good. And like I'm saying, he does not, he does not do the bullshit platinum. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? Do you ever think one day he's just gonna break down and knock out like two hundred of them in like a week? He will or me? Yeah, him. No, I don't think. I mean, because <laughs> he, he plays, he he goes so hard that I don't think. Because I mean, like, look the, from the top right, right. Here's his mm, most recent ones: Death Stranding, Fallen Order, Borderlands Three, Borderlands Two, Control, Borderlands, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Bloodstained, Assassin's Creed Three, Rage Two, Days Gone. Like these are real. These games. are all. Fi- these are all finished. Yeah, these are all platinum. I don't think these I have are any all of done. those done. No, of course not. And what then you the- look at you look at me. Midnight Deluxe, Foxy Land Two, <laughs> Foxy Land Two, Foxy Land Two, One Night Stand, Foxy Land, Foxy Land, Full Blast, Full Blast, that's, Full Blast. That's my kind Foxy of list. Land, Deep Space Rush, Deep Space Rush, Deep Space Rush, and all. Then the- finally Borderlands Three. There's a and, real and game. All those games. What, what was it, like 10, 15 yeah. games? You probably finished all those before he finished like Borderlands. <laughs> totally, right? Yeah. And it was the, in like the first, or not the first, the last like six I did that were all, or f- seven, were all hung over New Year's Day <laughs> sitting there while we watched uh, uh, Burlesque on Netflix. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what it is, Start right? the new year. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. The, uh, yeah, with, the, with my buddies, we, like the Xbox has the whole, uh, it'll show you like how much your friends have got that month yeah. for a gamer score. And we kind of use that kind of just, you know, compete every now and then, nothing too serious or stuff like that. We're sure. like, we're kind of competing uh, against each other, but at the same time, we're not. We're all kind of just in it for the hobby. And, you know, if someone has uh, needs help with a game and that person has said game or they finish it, they'll redownload it and help them out. Totally. So it's, it's kind of cool like that. And True Achievements is, is great for stuff like that as well, where you can have uh, like host a boosting session. So if you don't have any friends to help you with, Overwatch, you can host a boosting session, try and get people together to get. And we get anyway. so many calls for that on Games Daily, right? For uh, you know uh, the friends section, where yeah, yeah. it is like, hey, I'm just trying to. That, get this That's one a great thing. segment like, too. When we started talking about uh, Peace Walker again, somebody wrote in and was like, hey, I'm trying to get all the bullshit multiplayer trophies there. Can somebody sign on? We'll set it up and fix it that way. Oh, like Chloe's here. Hi, Chloe. Which Chloe? Echo Chloe. Yeah, we know Echo Chloe. Does she? She died. Did you hear this? I did. Uh, Bubblegum incident. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Before she died, was it? I don't know if she's like memeing or not. Does she really want to? Fuck oh, Grievous. She wants to fuck Grievous hard. Or does yeah. she want him to f- fuck her? Well, I, I mean, I, it's hard to tell. I don't know if she's shit posting or it's all no, legitimate. There's a lot of sexual attraction there. I think I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Can you? I think. I mean, this is an interesting question. I think mean, she wants to fuck Grievous, but I don't. I think if Grievous fucks her, she'd be fucking Grievous too, right? I, is I it guess dominance so. in the situation? I don't know. I don't know. Sub dom. Anyway, hi Chloe. Sorry hey, Chloe, about good that. To see you again. I just had to ask. I don't know if you were memeing or dead serious. No, she's definitely serious. About okay, it. trust got me. Got it. It's disturbing. hey man, you got to be passionate about something. Exactly, like us with trophies and achievements. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, like it just doesn't matter. And I, I get yeah. it, but it's like such. It, first off, it's such a small subset of anybody who plays video games, right? Where I, I remember when I came to IG in, in again 2007, right? And I remember when I met Will Tuttle for the first time, who was Team Xbox and now works at Xbox. Yeah. But he was like the, I'm addicted, I'm going to play anything. And I remember being like, oh, whatever, man. And then when trophies finally hit, it was, oh, I'm in on the ground floor. Like, I have a chance to actually yeah. have a score that matters. You know what I mean? And I feel like we've, since it's gotten cheapened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter as much anymore to people, but it also wouldn't matter much, period, because I remember when Will Tuttle aged out of it. When it was like he's not ch- he's yeah, not yeah. chasing the high anymore. He's yeah, a lot kids. of people are falling off. It makes stuff. sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you grow up, you get busy, you can't play, you know, full blast eight times. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but what it's just you? like a cool little thing. There are games that I would have never played that were kind of enjoyable that had that I just played, you know, for the achievements. Mm-hmm. So well, for- I think, and that was the thing, you know, I talked about it on uh, PS. I love you this week, but Foxy Lane two. Yeah, I, I pretty, played Foxy Lane two. I played Foxy Lane or Foxy Lane one. Yeah, playing Foxy Lane two is like, oh man, they, this is yeah, better. It's a good this platformer. Is way better. He's a platformer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they actually hit stuff. Made me challenge. Um, yeah, challenge me. 
Yeah, it's just, you know, and sometimes you, you're forced to play the game differently in a fun way. Yep. You know, obviously you get the bullshit, like beat the game, get the collectibles, this and that. But some of some of the miscellaneous stuff or the side stuff you're forced to do is is great. Open world games are, are good for stuff totally. like that, like GTA and yeah. stuff like that. For me, like the one that stood out to me the most is when I finally got an Xbox 360 in 2006, right? Yeah. Okay. It, I, when I was, I'm a huge zombie fan. I started playing yep. Dead Rising. Love that. And game. I was Love like, I'm going to 100% this or, you know, whatever it was. Very hard. And, yeah, exactly. Where I, I, I came home from work every night for a week and drove in the, the parking oh, yep. garage downstairs, the, get this, killing yep. all the zombies, killing the, uh, the uh, uh, genocide or yeah, whatever. Yeah, zombie genocide. Or but it was the, the same buster. thing of like, that's when I really, I think even though I didn't, I, I even though I wasn't chasing them to complete them, fell in love with the idea of trof- or achievements where it was cool like oh i didn't know i could run on zombies shoulders and then i yeah, did yeah. it and i was like oh this is actually cool i will use this in the real game like what a, a, a trophy or achievement list that makes you do something you wouldn't normally do but then that mechanic actually is cool yeah also That's if so you great. get rewarded for it is really really cool as yeah. well so like collectibles are the worst but if they like power you up or if you unlock some you're like all right or like dead rising when you get that zombie genocide achievement you get like the best weapon in the game yeah. so it makes it worth it um but when you when it's just kind of like yeah, collect these fifteen notes. Yeah, just because. Yeah, it's they're like, just, oh, they're all yeah. over the place. It's lore. So I don't fuck. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who I, gives a shit? I love a good audio dialogue. A diary yeah, yeah. you find, like bi- like Bioshock with the, like that was interesting. Right. Yeah. And they do it right where I can walk around. Exactly. And go into you my can do other shit. Yeah. I fucking hate it when you. Well, hit you the pick up the you paper and it's in script. It's like I don't. Who, what? Okay. Yeah, I got things to do, yeah. man. Got to play Foxy Land three five. <laughs> right now. You know that's how it is. Get out of my hair. Do you think you'll ever? Age out of achievements? You think it'll always be something there? For I you? think it'll always be something as long as it's a feature. Yeah, I will always absolutely be into it. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just fun for me. It's fun for me. It's fun for my friends. It's kind of like ingrained in who I am at this point. And I think that's another thing for me. We were talking about it in a vague way, but it for the crappy platinums, right, or the cheap platinums, they serve such a different purpose than when I'm actually playing a game or trying to yeah. platinum a game I really love. It, it is that I'm exhausted from the day and i don't want to jump into something that's going to be story heavy or take too long so i yeah, yeah. do this little thing and i still i'm still playing i'm still doing something and you know contributing to this overall yeah. goal or goal whatever whatever how yeah. many i can get and see how this all ends one day also it's cool just for like where to know where i rank amongst everyone else i think sure. i'm like in the i know i'm in the top 100 i don't know where exactly uh but it's just cool to see like me overtake people and take overtake yeah, yeah. me and go back and forth and stuff like that and uh, yeah, achievements have just made me meet a lot of cool people. Uh, Ray Cox, Stallion eighty three, uh, who had the most gamer score in the world for a while. He was the first to a million, uh, first to two million, and then he kind of essentially not retired. Like he still hunts achievements, but not as aggressively. Yeah, yeah. he reached two million. He's like, guys, this is <laughs> guys. I got married. I want to spend time with my wife. I'm I'm good for now. So I think he's dropped. He's dropped to like third, but he's still like way up there. And I've you know met him and befriended him and his wife and it was cool when he came to Austin because not many people I could I can't really talk about this to many people he's like one of them where we can go back it's like oh man remember this game like in 2006 yeah. like it was it was shit and then we would talk about like uh people who got covered uh in the 360 for like getting gamer score and they like would get banned because they were doing like stuff like game saving sure. or this and that and uh it was it's cool to talk to someone who is like super into the same hobby you are about very obscure things that only a handful of people know yeah, when we, uh, back in the day during Podcast Beyond at IGN, we did a thing where we had uh, this, like, I forget what it, it was for a month or longer, but it was a trophy challenge between, like, me, Colin, Scott Bromley, Jack DeVries, and someone else. But it was, like, who can yeah. get the, and it was that thing of doing all the thing. And I forgot all about it outside of, like, the jokes we yeah, made. Yeah. And uh, I for, it, was, it was in the past. It's been since kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. But I was, like, trying to sync stuff on PSN profiles, and I was getting rejected. I was mm-hmm. like, what is going on? And I hit them up and I'm like, hey, like, this is happening. I don't know what's happening. And they're like, oh, hey, Greg, like, you know, we're fans of everything. Uh, you have, you cheated fuel with a game save. And that's noted because you got oh, the trophies too fast. So you have to yeah. hide that in your PSA. I, I have like, some like that in, in exactly. true achievements as well. Well, actually, it's something I want to talk about too after this. Uh, sure. For Gears. Gears. Gears 1, uh, you know, has seriously in all those multiplayer achievements. Back when I was a, a wee lad. Uh, I forgot when Gears 1 came out, 2007, something yeah, like that. Right, so yeah. I was 18, 19, around there. Uh, there was a profile glitch going around where if someone has all the achievements, you can, and I don't even remember how it works. My friend explained it to me, and it took me multiple tries. You like... Hacking. Essentially, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Mega 64, <laughs> Rocco, <laughs> hacking gif. Um, you like sign into his and yours and do it multiple times, and the Xbox gets confused and gives you 2006. Okay. 
uh, it gives you all of the all of their achievements essentially. So nice. it's just like I complete the game, and then it was an issue. And then years later, true achievements is like, hey asshole, you can't do this because I got like most of the achievements all in the same day, and they're right. all yeah, pretty yeah. grindy. It's like the, they're one and I'm like, after another. All right, you got me. Fuck. So uh, for a while, I wasn't uh, ranked on any true achievements leaderboard, and then I waited like. I probably could have emailed them sooner, but I waited a couple of years. I'm like, hey, I'm like an adult now. I'm sorry. Can I have it back? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. nerd. I'm yeah, because like, yeah. Fuel was, yeah, you had to get the game sh- save off the thing, and you put it in, and it went bing, 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 yeah, bing, yeah. bing. So in regards to getting achievement or trophies. Either way. Yeah. Um, so there's multiple ways to do a lot of things. Some, some shady, we'll say. There's the legitimate way. You get it, whatever. Now, when it comes to multiplayer achievements... Do you boost multiplayer achievements? Yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, multiplayer achievements. Some people, I mean, some people, not a lot, but some people are like, oh, that's fucking cheating. For the way it works in my mind for multiplayer achievements is the way Uncharted handled it. Where if you remember, to get the platinum in Uncharted, you would play through all the game, you know, you play it on the difficulties, you use all the guns, all that shit. But then it'd be when they introduced multiplayer, it was. Play one round of team deathmatch. Play one round of the other. That's thing or whatever. great. I love. And it was shit like, like that. hey, try this. Yeah. And you try it. You get the trophies, and then you pop the platinum. Then when they would patch it with free DLC or in costumes yeah. or whatever, they'd put out a DLC pack of, hey, you really like yeah. multiplayer? Here you go. Like we're gonna we're gonna make you play a whole bunch in whole. Titanfall two did something similar. That's the first game I think of where it has like the story and this and that, and has like three achievements. It's like create a class, play a game, and like join a clan, and then you don't have to worry. And then you can just play the multiplayer and not have to worry yeah. about it. But, yeah, I'm all for boosting multiplayer games, especially games that are more or less dead on arrival yeah. for when they oh, come yeah, out. Yeah. And you're just like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, just, I'll just take a... Just, I'll, do, I'll, just, yeah, just do it live. Kevin, just put yeah. it on the screen. Do you guys, you guys want, want Burger, Burger King? King? <laughs> hell yeah. Uh-huh. I'll just take like a Whopper meal. I um, got a double cheeseburger. I'm in the mood for some diarrhea later. Um, no disrespect to the king. Now so, we're from our sponsors, Burger. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sneak King Two, make it happen. Uh, yes. So, so boosting, I think, is a necessity if you want achievement hunting games that come out and are just like dead. Yeah, yeah. Well, not even that. It's like it's that weird push and pull between. It's, and I, I think you can get away with certain ones if you are multiplayer only. Like yes. the reason you're playing it is this, but when it's a multiplayer mode and you're busting my balls, making me yeah. play like. Ah man, I I just lauded Uncharted, right? Like yeah. I did not like The Last of Us it's trophyless, period. Okay. But even as multiplayer. And it was like, oh yeah, play the multiplayer twice. You can get hours in, die and lose, and then have to start all yeah. over. I'm like, well, fuck that. I'm not gonna Shit do like that. that sucks, right. Yeah. Like there is a way, it's a it's a thin line, right? It's a yeah. razor's edge on how you can do stuff like that and make it work. But like even uh the division two, right? Like it ha- suffers from a, in Division One, I, I guess, for that matter. Where hey, it's PVE and it can be PVE yeah. in the dark zone. That's awesome. I personally only want to play PVE. Yeah, yeah. So when it came time in Division Two of like kill uh, this many rogue agents or yeah. whatever, what did me and Josh Graff do? Who'd already gotten it but signed on because he's awesome? We'd run into the on dark some zone. Heroes, yeah. He'd go evil. I'd s- kill, kill him. him. He'd come back and we just did it over and over. And it's like that sucks. That's not fun. Like yeah. I. If there, there's ways to do that and not have it be that aggressive, like, oh, my God. Like, multiplayer achievements that you can do in, like, custom games or private matches are totally fine. But when it's, like, it has to be done in ranked, and you're, like, well, I can totally tank this game for my team trying to get, like, kills with a certain weapon or whatever. Uh, it sucks. It sucks for everybody involved because you don't want to do it. The other team are going to be, like, this guy's fucking, you know, throwing, essentially. Right. But when you can do it in a private game or it's, you know, or if it's a dead game, you can just get together. Then it's just, like, let's just knock this out and then never plays again. Yeah. Essentially, you just do it with your core group, and you, you're not disrupting anybody. Speaking of uh, Gears, going back to Gears for a second, Gears Please. 1, uh, when boosting back then, since the like, true achievements and shit wasn't really established at that point, you would get into a game, you do your boosting or whatever, and I don't know if anyone else did this or remembers this. If some random person got into your game, or you got into a random game and people were boosting, you would take your smoke grenade and hold left trigger to aim it, and you would swing it, and that would be like, I'm down to boost, I'll help, and it's like that. You kind of had to communicate with what you had back then, That's so awesome. shout out to that. Um, so yeah, I, I think the more modern equivalent to all that, right, is Fortnite, when they're doing the challenges to get the crests. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite you play. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when we were super into it, and when I've come back, yeah, there you yeah. go. When I jump in there, like, oh, go play the fucking piano or whatever, yeah. I'd run over there, and there'd be a guy there, I'm like, fuck, and I, I'm like, I'm not going to shoot you, yeah. bro, and he would do it, and look at me, like, I'm not going to shoot you. Yeah. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, we got it. See you later, you know what I mean? Good luck. <laughs> Uh, so the next thing, uh, would you, if cheats don't disable achievements, will you use cheats to get achievements? And how do you feel about it? It doesn't happen too often because a lot of the times cheats all. will be like 
disable achievements. But recently, uh, maybe not recently, but they re-released Duke Nukem 25th anniversary for like the umpteenth time. And it's like, oh, you can use cheats and get all the achievements. So I used cheats and knocked out the game in like two and two hours or something like that, short amount of time. Yeah. How do you feel about that? And do you feel like, I don't know, bad for doing that? That's one where I'm like, eh. I mean, all's fair in love and war kind of thing. Yeah. Like, what do I, is that any different? That you, I mean, because I thought you were using cheats like hacking, hacking. You no. just mean like the game has cheat codes? Yeah, like, like, I'm like cheats are okay. I don't care. And like, it's another platinum that you would never be proud of. When people That's ask true. me, like, it's, or, you know, hey, what, you know, what platinum are you most proud of, right? I'm always like, DC Universe Online, right? Like, that's a, that's that's a, a serious that's one. That's a huge fucking MMO. You are the DC guy. I know I am, too. So I wear the no. badge. Of, I would never say, oh, Duke Nukem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, you know what I mean? No. It's just on the list. Okay. The, 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 during the whole trophy thing, the, when we were yeah. all challenging each other, there was one, or I guess it was before this, actually, but when I was reviewing Dead Rising 2, uh, it was back in the day when you know they actually sent you review code like on uh-huh. you know discs. Yeah, yeah. they put in a test back unit. in the day. Yeah, put in a test unit, and I was playing, and I hit in uh, at this point. Uh, Roper years and years before when he we were all into it had figured out how to get your test units onto the retail uh, oh. servers so we could play games on yeah, the yeah. test units and actually get the trophies for them. Uh, I was playing, and I double clicked my sticks in the debug menu came up, and I realized that I could go in there and set. The amount of zombies I had killed, so I could do the new zombie genocide trophy and never have to. That's yeah, awesome. Set it to one and it counts. Away. Yeah, and it, oh, I'm yeah, all yeah. about that. Yeah, I didn't do it. I thought that was too. I I I yelled at Colin about it, and he's like, "Don't you fucking do it." And I, <laughs> and I never did because I, I thought that was a bridge too far. If that's it's not fair. available to everyone, I guess that's a good point. That then it would look like, oh man, this guy that's actually played yeah, Dead yeah. Rising too and put a lot of work. Also, in. I guess if you did that, it would be look really weird if you like just started the game. And it's like so I'm yeah, yeah. exactly like finish sorry guys, one, I'm and just so good. Yeah, this is all I did. Okay. Uh, last two. Yeah. Have you done uh, so? In some games, you have to do like <clears throat> multiple play playthroughs, get yeah. multiple endings, this and that. Have you ever gone into like you get an ending and then you kind of like abuse your save or delete your save in a way where it prevents you from playing through a playthrough again? So like, um, explain. Think, huh? An example is sometimes you'll get to like you have to go through two doors and you go through one and ends the game. You got to play through the other game. So you'll go Make through the save. door. Yeah, like a save. You'll go through the door. But you'll delete your. I think it's fuck. I think it's either your lo- your local save or something like that. And you like dashboard and you reload the game again and you keep the achievement. But the game will start you because it's going to load like a cloud save right before the door mm-hmm. and you just go to the other one as opposed to play through the whole thing again. Well, you see, this is something you're you have to worry about because of course PlayStation cloud saves aren't instantaneous like Xbox. Oh yeah. <laughs> so like I've done what you're talking about yeah. of like make the choice and come back. But it, yeah, it's literally like all right, cool. Make sure I have a save. Upload it to the cloud. Go do the thing. All right, cool. I got the trophy. Pop out. Delete do that the save, whole thing again. Yeah. Download my save. It, it sounds more complicated than it is, but it takes like two minutes and it saves you, you know, potentially. Oh, totally. Hours. Yeah, because that, and that's like those are the other things in games where like we're talking. We already talked about full playthroughs for difficulty. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, getting to a branching thing of like now you got to make this choice. Like you know, I loved I loved Fallout Three. Yeah. I put a lot of hours into Fallout Three and all the DLC. I don't want to replay Fallout Three to see the other thing. Right. There's see the, uh, the other. Uh, on the opposite side of the spectrum Karma. of that, I think it's in uh, Saw 2. I don't know if you played Saw 2. No, you I, get to the, is, you I remember get to the end of the game. Around. There's two doors, and it's like, do I really want to fucking play through Saw 2 again? Absolutely not. So I'm going to do this whole thing and then go through one door, reload, and go through that door. I'm like, all right, I'm done. But and how many times have you done that? Not for Saw, but a game like Saw 2 where you're like, I fucking hate this game. Let's restart it. Let's go do the fucking thing I need to do. Uh, sometimes, if, I, if, I, if I'm doing a game and I miss, that game was heavy on collectibles. Um, but if I miss collectible and I think it's like, Early enough on, then I'll be like, oh, fucking, yeah, I'll, I'll go grab it. If I have to play through the whole game again, it really depends on the game. If I really liked it, then I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, example, uh, Mad Max, great yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, I missed one achievement for doing challenges, and I just haven't started the game again. Even though the game is amazing, I loved it. I just haven't sat down and be like, all right, I'm going to play through this game again and just focus solely on challenges. But I do plan on doing it. But it's one of those things where it's like, God, it's a long game. I got to do this and this, this again. I'm like... I'll fucking wait on it. Are you a completionist to the point that if a game gets annoying and you've already started it, like, and I mean super annoying, yeah, that you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna it try, out. I'm yeah. gonna 100 percent try. Going back to what you mentioned uh, a while ago, I'll look at achievement lists and I'll be like, no, I'm just not gonna play this game on my sure. on my main account. Sure. I'm one of those losers, but I have uh, I have an alternate account for stuff like that if it's on console, or I'll just play it on PC. Yeah, yeah. At this point, or other platforms, a PlayStation 4, Switch. Um, last thing. This is uh, kind of new. Because well, I, I, I want to talk more about because oh. I'm looking at my... I, I'm not. 
I, I, I there's I, I if I get into this game and I'm like this game fucking yeah. sucks. I hate this game. Like there's a difference between this part's annoying, this is really hard, or this sucks. This is terrible. And like I'm looking through like the, the hungover day recently, right? And it was Explosion. Have you ever played uh, this yeah. game? I thought Explosion was okay. I, I I think it just doesn't connect. I, maybe it's just my own it hurt my eyes, inability. Yeah. There's yeah. that, and I was playing it, and I was just like, I have yeah, 22 percent of the trophies. And oh I, yeah, I was like, fuck this, done. You're delete, out of there. Delete. I'm out of here. I'm not gonna be a part of this. Generally, if I start a game, I'm gonna do everything I can to finish it. Some games I'll I'll just kind of like I I go in knowing I'm not gonna finish it, but I want to play it anyway. Like sure. uh, Gears Five, I'm like I'm not gonna you know prestige 87 times or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know I still want to play the game, so I just I guess bite the bullet. Um, but yeah, there, there are games that I'll, I'll look at the list. Like I'll do some research and I'll be like, no, absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. Um, but back to the, the yeah, thing yeah, I was talking about, start. the last thing that's come up recently that I never even thought would be an issue. So Master Chief Collection is coming out on PC. Halo Reach is available right now. There's 7,000 gamer score, 700 achievements in those games. And most of them are fine. Some of them suck. In Halo Reach, since it's only on PC, there's, uh, a lasso. Do you know what lasso is? Halo lasso. No. It's legendary. All skulls on. So it's hard. Game's hardest difficulty and a bunch of modifiers that make it harder. Yeah. It's awful. Worst experience ever. Uh, some people love it. Not me. And you have to do like speed run achievements as well on the hardest difficulty. So fuck all that. <laughs> Since you're playing on the PC version, you can play the game with mods. You could play like you know multiplayer <laughs> yeah. mods, single player mods. But when you put it, when you start it in uh, with mods on it, disables achievements, all that stuff. You can put on mods and single player that you kill enemies one shot can't die mm. all that shit and you can get to like a checkpoint or the end of the level you can then log off log back on without mods and be like you walk forward and you get you the, 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 the credit for it oh. and now people on ta are back and forth like is this cheating is this not cheating who polices this this and that bunch of nerds just of you know, being nerds. This is what but we do. I find it fascinating, and it's just like I don't know where I would stand on that because it's you are modding the game, right? Yeah. And you're tricking the game into giving sure. you progress where you absolutely didn't deserve it. But are you cheating? Like I don't think you're cheating. Yeah, I, like I, I don't know where I would stand. It on It comes that. back just to it. Is I think that as much as we talk about your overall what your <laughs> achievement court yeah what your gamer god that's a great show that'd be a great mm -hmm. youtube show what your you know gamer score is what your trophy level is all this yeah. different stuff it all it takes is a keen eye of looking at that and realizing yeah. right, of like you didn't really do this and especially yeah. for a, if like if that was obviously not but yeah. if it was there or i was chasing achievements and you saw that and you saw the rest of my thing you'd be like this guy didn't do that yeah and i would never lie to you and say i did right? yeah you know I, I think mean? i think it's one of those things where if like if i did it uh I, whoops i have not done it but if i did it i'd be like uh yeah i use this whatever yeah, yeah, yeah whatever exactly yeah but i know some people are get very heated about it and i was just wondering what you thought yeah like again i'm i want it to be all fair in love and war yeah. if you can do it you can do it yeah. but like you're gonna have to suffer the fact that, that that's you, my that's thing a, too it's like a scarlet letter yeah exactly. like no one ever like i it's uh, when i put out my trophy level or in, or a screenshot yeah. of me like on a yeah I hit a hundred platinums when I did that with division or like, yeah, yeah. just in general now if it's just me talking about oh man I crossed this new thing on level forty or whatever so many of the comments are like oh that's awesome man wow you have so many yeah, more yeah. than you have one. but when I put up Foxy Land three times in a row people are like you fucking yeah bum. You, you, you bitch <laughs> yeah you know yeah, what yeah, I mean you're playing like, baby games and like, I fucking lean into it yeah. that's what I am and I enjoy that so that's like it's whatever listen, if you're gonna be a achievement hunter or a trophy hunter you gotta lean into that if you're yeah. gonna get super hardcore about it exactly and I you know. That's how it is, ladies and gentlemen. You, you don't like the way the world works. You should have started your own trophy or achievement system. Still pissed off that PlayStation is not putting Platinums and everything. Yeah, what's that about? It's From what I have understand, the way it's been explained to me by developers, right, is basically they still hold on to this whole thing of you submit your game, and they look at it, and they're like, all right, cool, you need trophies, and they give you the list. And if you're a smaller game, or you know, they'll give you a list without a Platinum. And They like PlayStation? Sony? Oh. They'll say, like, here's what you need to fill out. You need to put in your trophies, achievements. Uh, you know, this is how much points they're assigned. This is your grand total of pool of points. And if you look at it and you're in the no, you go, no, I want a platinum. Yeah. And they may still go no, and you go, no, I want a platinum. They'll go, all right, fine, and give you the platinum list. That's so. I but just, if you're a video game developer who's been working on this thing for five years, you don't give a shit. You're at the finish line. You don't understand the, the yeah. subculture of trophies. They give you the list, and you're like, all right, cool. Fill it out, put That's it in, so and odd. then you I get just, all these comments. They're like, where the fuck's the platinum? Platinum, yeah. There's yeah. some games that just have like just bronze trophies, and then they're like all over the place. And yeah. There's some games that should have a, a platinum that don't, and some totally. some indie games that shouldn't but do. Like, Rattalaka fully understands that 100%. their audience is yeah. achievement hunters and trophy hunters. So as long as they have a 1,000 gamer score, platinum trophy, they'll sell 
however many and, units. And I'm, I was going to the story, and I, I got we got off track because we're just having such a great time. But we are. This is great. The point I was making is I remember being on a press tour for Infamous 2, the reveal up in, at, at uh, 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 Bellevue at uh, Sucker Punch. And I remember Nate Fox going out and having lunch with him and talking about trophies and yeah. this and why I was obsessed with them and stuff. And I'm, and, he, and I'm like, you don't understand. If I was uh, in your position or in a, a developer's yeah. position, I would make shitty games, like just games that input. And he's like, wait, you think people would buy crappy games for and i was like i know they would and you Absolutely. jumped it now and readily because like yeah give us some money we this is all this is who we are yeah we that's like care. their whole uh, mo right yeah. and i mean i obviously don't know how many they sell but if i guarantee you if the list was difficult they wouldn't totally sell nearly as and much. it's what i was talking about too with radalika right where i think foxland 2 is a good game yeah I, one night stand i i was excited about i put on the showcase and then yeah, when yeah. they were publishing i was like oh d- wh- this is even better a game i really am into and it's going to be an easy platinum right and that's what it's all about yeah Ray? Yes, sir. Speaking of whatever we were just talking about, it's time for people to understand how they make this show happen. They can write into patreon.com slash kind of funny where they can get the show ad free and be part of it. We're going to the friend zone with Ray next. But before then, oh, hell yeah. we need to talk about our sponsors. We're starting with Upstart. <laughs> the picture Between. right over your shoulder. <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. Between hitting the gym, eating cleaner, or learning a new skill, there's a lot of ways we can better ourselves in the new year. But I can't think of one that's more important than starting the year off tackling high-interest credit card debt. My friends at Upstart.com are here to help. Upstart is a revolutionary lending platform that offers smarter rates to help you pay off high-interest credit card debt. Yeah, cover it all. Credit card debt. Upstart goes beyond the traditional credit score when assessing your credit worthiness. They actually reward you based on your job, edu- history, and your education in the form of a smarter interest rate. Upstart believes you're more than just your credit score. They believe in you. They make it fast, simple, and easy to check your rate. Since it's just a soft pull, it won't affect your credit score. The hard pull happens if you accept the rate. The best part? Once the loan is approved and accepted, most people get their funds the very next business day. Over 400,000 people have used Upstart to pay off high-interest credit cards uh, or meet their financial goals. Uh, Free yourself from the burden of high-interest credit card debt by consolidating everything into one monthly payment with Upstart. See why Upstart is ranked number one in their category with over 300 businesses on Trustpilot. And hurry to upstart.com slash morning to find out how low your Upstart rate is. Checking your rate takes only a few minutes. That's upstart.com slash morning. Next, it's Hymns. Uh, you've heard us talk about Hymns for a long time because on the other side of the wall, Nick and Andy are using it. They noticed their hair was thinning, and they reached out to 4 The best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some time. Uh, it's time to grab the new year by the follicles. Here's to a year of personal growth. This is good. This is a good, that's a good copy right there. Uh, why do guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when they can turn to medicine and science? 4 is a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness, and more for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. Hims is helping guys be the best version of themselves with licensed physicians and FDA-approved products to help treat hair loss. No snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are prescription solutions backed by science. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. No more awkward in-person doctor visits or long pharmacy lines. 4 connects you with real doctors online, which can save you hours. Answer a few questions and a doctor will review and if they determine it's right for you you can get prescriptions from them for medication to treat hair loss shipped directly to your door dive into 2020 hair first right now my listeners can get started with their first month for free go to forhims.com slash morning show that's forhims.com slash morning show prescription requires an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate offer is valid only if prescribed three month minimum subscription additional restrictions apply see the website for full details and important safety information remember that's forhims.com slash morning show and the final sponsor of the day, Indochino. They make suits. I wear it all the time. Maybe you've seen me get pod by Xavier Woods, and I'm in that cool blue suit. Maybe you saw me host the Dice Awards in that cool blue suit. I open it up. It says, at Game Over Greggy on it. Kevin's got one he got married in. When it, he opens his up, it says, follow, at Kind of Funny Kevin. And I was like, dang, I should <laughs> It also put says Game Over Greggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the same suit. Uh, with Indochino, is all about you. You get to choose from hundreds of high-quality suit fabrics. Pick the color, pattern, and weight you like best. Then you choose all the personal touches, including your lining, lapel, and monogram. The customizations are all your choice, and there's no extra costs. Uh, the suit is made to your exact measurements, so you end up with a perfect fit for the shape of your body. Indochino also sells custom shirts, coats, and chinos, so you can get a full custom wardrobe. They have showrooms across North America where one of their styles guides can take your measurements and walk you through the process or you can do it all on home at indochino.com right now for an extra 30 dollars off any purchase of 3.99 or more at indochino.com when entering morning at checkout Uh, plus shipping is free shipping is free uh 
Receipt of copy does not constitute an order. Uh, that's Indochino.com, promo code MORNING, for $30 off your total purchase of three ninety nine or more. High-quality suits for an off-the-rack price. Well done. Thank you. I do love that suit. Hell yeah. I do wear it quite a bit. Uh, Ray, are you ready to go into the friend zone? Friend zone. Friend zone. Uh, yeah, one thing before. Sure. Uh, Tina reminded me. Uh, she, back in 20... Fuck, I forgot the year. But like four or five years ago, she made me a Google Doc that I use to track every single game I've played. Lord. How many... Uh, Gamer score, how long it took me, like duration. Wow. And then at the end of the year, she'll put it in like a graph and stuff like that. And it's just like, she's the one. <laughs> Damn, she's she, awesome. she understands and she supports, she supports me Man. in that. So, love you, Tina. Love you, Tina. Be Good back uh, tomorrow. Hold the dogs tight. Yes, please. Uh, best friends from Kind of Funny can write in to patreon.com slash kind of funny and give us questions for our guests. Today, Parker Luckenbach starts it off. Yes. He wrote in to patreon.com slash kind of funny and says, Ray. Achievements have been around for almost 15 years. Yep. What are your thoughts on how the metagame has changed for video games and how ba- a bad list can turn you off potentially to a great game? Uh, well, we talked about a little bit how the meta has completely right. changed to these like bullshit garbage baby games. Uh, it's just where it's going. You know, Devs know that they can put out an easy list and make a quick buck. Um, do you find with what you do and the addiction we both share that uh, when a great game does come out and has a bad trophy list, does it fall further back in the pile? Does it, you know... Uh, it... It bums me out in a way because it's just like, oh, I mean, I'm not, you know, I won't play this on Xbox. But like I said, I'll play it if it's something I really want to play. I'll play it on, you know, another platform. Play it on PC or yeah. my alt account on Xbox. Be uh, is that because you want your main account to be pristine, be as clean as possible? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I checked your achievements the other day. I think I'm at 83 percent completion for everything. So I I like to be in like the 80 ish range. And no, obviously, not, I don't know if I'm reading it right. It might be 86.7. Is that right? No, oh, there's it finally popped. Yeah, completion, pr- completion, oh. eighty six point oh. seven. Shit, You're there you go. Selling yourself short. There you go. But yeah, I don't want to ruin my uh, <laughs> account <laughs> with those shit like that. Yeah, because I'm just like hyper aware of stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, if, if it's a game with a bad list, I'll just play it on another uh, platform. Is it just here, or do you feel like you have like uh, OCD tendencies? I think some some that's part of it as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. interesting. Thanks for the question. No problem. Pedro writes in. To patreon.com slash kind of funny says hey ray hey been a fan of yours for a while now and love your shibas <laughs> thanks man i love I, too I, I, i've been a fan but i like the dogs the most that's fair <laughs> anyway what is something you'd like to do with frame rate merch this year so when did you start frame rate merch uh september 15th 2018 okay so that was actually a, a hype stream it was the launch of the store it was mm-hmm. my birthday and it was the million gamer score stream wow. all in one stream it was pretty intense um God, I wish Tina was in San Francisco right now. Uh, so you can phone a friend if you want. Yeah, <laughs> we just want to keep it growing. Uh, so we started, you know, a year and a half ago. We had to. We started in our garage. We had to move out of our garage because we were outgrowing that, which is great. Try to find commercial space in Austin. Yeah, it was a nightmare. So we just ended up getting another house just strictly for the store because it was Holy cheaper shit, in the really? long run. Wow. Yeah. Um, so we did that. We hired our first employee. She's great. Shout out to Meg. And we just want to, you know, keep growing. Keep doing weird stuff like with since it's our store and we don't really have to you know ask anyone we've we've done gag items like i have a body pillow that is sold at rtx i have like the the booby mouse pad but yeah, it's yeah, me yeah. with my fat thick ass yeah, yeah um just keep making cool things that you know people want to buy essentially and, and just take it from there we don't want to just do like you know shirts and shit like that because right. people have a million of those so we do like different stuff like we made a wallet we have um those gag items, like I said, and you know, notebooks and stuff like that. Just, just sell cool stuff that we would buy. Uh, that's not just your standard shirt and whatnot. And just keep growing, keep going from there. Oh yeah. And I think, um, yeah, I just think that'll be cool. All right. Uh, DH Canada writes in patreon.com slash kind of funny and says how's it going ray and greg hello as a hunter of achievements ray if you could add achievements to one classic game which would you choose same for greg about adding a platinum to a game i dh canada would add some to the ps2 classic the bouncer hashtag remake oh, the bouncer god that game was amazing that game was super dope uh an older game i would love to get all the achievements in a time splitters game maybe mm. time splitters 2 or time splitters future perfect uh because those games are just there's a lot of content there with multiplayer, the challenges as a single player, and I think they could put a pretty good creative list, and I think it would be a lot of fun Hell yeah. to do. Uh, for me, I the things that jump to mind, and I'm spoiled in a lot of ways. Oh, sure. Water. Oh, oh what are you? Oh, 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 oh
jump to mind right are some of them are cop outs, but I'll start with uh, the WWF games on N64. Yeah, I noticed it, you have No Mercy over there, sealed. I'm like, that's the best uh, wrestling game ever. Love it so much. I love that that WrestleMania 2000. I was such another level of playing those as a kid that I would love to. WCW and NWO oh, games yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, those yeah. are all classics. Something to chase there. But in the same vein of that, but actually again, cop out. I would have loved if. Uh, Peace Walker, when I reviewed it on PSP, would have had trophies. Mm -hmm. I would have loved if Metal Gear Solid 2, when I played that as a kid in 2001, would have had trophies. Yeah. Because, like, I always talk about it. Metal Gear Solid 2 is the first modern game I think of that I platinumed in quotes. So, like, I did everything in that game. I yep. had all the photos. I had all the dog, dog tags. tags. I, my friend, I'll never forget in college, my friend called me and he was playing for the first time and I walked him through just staring at a wall. I was like, I know what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing yeah. Wait, what difficulty are you on? Oh, this is going to happen. And blah, blah, blah. That's and crazy. I hung up and my roommate was like, you're a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> they just really like the game. But it's like, yeah, I know that those have obviously re-released with trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on Peace Walker now, but it's always that thing of like, I already did this. I did this already yeah. and I hate redoing stuff, which is why I so rarely do. That's why sometimes when a game gets another achievement list later on, I'm just like, God, I really want to do this again. Yeah. Like, I'll take my one and that's it i was so stoked for ghostbusters remastered right because yeah what stopped me from getting the platinum in ghostbusters was, was multiplayer glitch, a right? terrible fucking yep. multiplayer and list, they right? removed it yeah and so it's not there and i so i immediately started on hard in ghostbusters remastered i'm like this is crushingly hard i hate this <laughs> <laughs> and i just stopped playing i, I do like, wow. like when games get re-released and they get rid of like the multiplayer like when the yeah. assassin's creed Ezio yep. collection and i'm like all right i'll play these games now uh another kind of cop-out answer i love a pokemon game had achievements or something like that i yeah. wonder what that would be like yeah yeah that'd be awesome uh, the nanobiologist writes in and says, Hey, Ray, I've been a huge fan of yours since you arrived at the Austin airport and chose poorly to have sex in the mouth. Yep. Honestly, though, you have been very inspiring about following one's dream. So my question is, what has been your greatest difficulty in chasing the stream or dream? Have there been times that you wanted to give it all up and go back to achievement hunting? Or give it, I'm sorry, give it, give it up with streaming or achievement hunting? Yeah. Uh, how have you gotten out of those ruts? Uh, Tina. Yep. Anytime I'm feeling like down or just like, Having an off day or something, uh, especially when I like before I um, like when I put in my my two weeks of achievement hunter, and then I would get home and I'd be like, "Did I just fuck up? You know, yeah. did I just throw it all away? That I I worked all these years to get here, and I'm just like, bye." Um, you know, you just I had a goal in mind. I fully believed that I could accomplish that goal, so I just like stuck with it, and I just went for it, man. That was my whole thing, like. At this point, I'm like 24, 25. I'm like, I'm still young enough that if this fucking sucks, I can do something else. Yeah, you, know? you can like, it, it's, something it's else. It's not over if this doesn't work out. Like, I rather, I rather try and fail miserably than not tr try at all uh, with a lot of things. So, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I th there's gonna be days. That, even now, there's days where I'm just like, fuck, dude, do my streams good? Do I do I like suck shit? Are people gonna watch or whatever? But just having you know a support stream of like Tina and, and stuff like that definitely uh, definitely helps. But it is it's it's incredibly scary to do something like that, especially if you're at a job that's secure and all this stuff, and you're kind of taking a leap. But uh, for me, it was absolutely worth it. Has there ever been a thought of moving back to New York? Uh, like, do you miss that? Like a, you a couple of times, I thought about it because my all my family is there, all my friends are there. But I just love Austin so much, and I'm just so I've been there for. This is gonna be the eighth year I've been there, and I just, I, I just love the city. Yeah, yeah, awesome, Ray. Yes, we love you. I love you guys too. Thank you for finally coming out here and hanging. This out This was us. a blast. Yeah. Hey, if you ever make an achievement court show, let me know. Sure, I'll fly okay. over every week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. Yeah. Well, the problem is I'm gonna, I, I don't know. Who, you, you, you'd probably be the judge. Right. Yeah. Then we'll have uh, Brian from PlayStation Four. <laughs> yeah. As the like, the yeah. the uh, district attorney, and I'll be the public defender. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah that'd be perfect. Sir, if you can, do, uh, Your Honor, if yeah. you could do it in the game. Well, that wouldn't really. Is it truly that cheating? That wouldn't really help because I'd be like, I am with Greg on everything. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> hey, we won. It'd be a short yeah. show. <laughs> it's over. I like like that. Uh, Ray, where can people keep up with you? Uh, I stream every day except Monday and Friday at twitchtv slash brownman. Come hang out, join the madness that is my stream. You can find me at Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash Ray Narvaez Jr. And then if you want to buy any of this merch, frameratemerch.com, please buy something. We'd really appreciate it. Sometimes I package it myself. Wow. Mostly it's Tina and our employee, but sometimes I'm there. Sure. And that's about it, man. I, this is something I want to ask in the interview I never did. Have you been like, is it a relief or is it a stressor to not be streaming since you're here with us? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, like I assume you're hosting this so people yeah, know you're yeah, alive yeah. and doing things. Um, it's one of those things where it's nice to have a break and it's nice to have the freedom of being a streamer where you can be like, I'm just going to go to San Francisco for a couple of days. Sure. But at the same time, it's that mentality of if you're not streaming, you're losing 
subs and yeah, you're essentially yeah. losing money but i can't you can't let that if you're going to stream full-time or you're a streamer full-time now you can't let that determine how you live your life right like you need to take vacations you need to take days off and see friends and stuff like that and some people will let that overwhelm them and they'll be like i gotta stream every day because i'm not streaming then i'm gonna lose money and then i won't be able to do this anymore yeah but i mean i'm very much aware that like i'm not streaming and i'm losing money and whatever but i know like you know i'll they'll be, be back, back I'll, I'll be back and they'll be back and it'll be fine and i'll get more than i ever had before perfect Ladies and gentlemen, this is We Have Cool Friends. Remember, it's an irregularly scheduled kind of funny program, usually once a week. Next week, I do believe we are off since we're doubling up on DC EU interview, Wonder Woman Monday, uh, Birds of Prey. No, no, I'm sorry, Suicide Squad Monday, or, uh, Birds of Prey Friday. However, I think the week after that, we're back with the one and only Naomi Kyle. Hell yeah. So go to patreon.com. Two first names. You know what they say about people, two first names. You cannot trust them. I've worked with Naomi, and I can assure you, you cannot trust Naomi. Yep. I didn't need Two I first need names. Them. You got to watch out. Exactly. Is Narvea as a second? No, first thing? You, got, like, you got like Naomi wear. Kyle and Fuck Cher it. and Cher. Frank. I can't oh, wow. think of another no, one. I'm wow. sorry. All right, and, 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 and we have cool friends. And we'll the see you later. Subscribe. I panic. <laughs> and Frank.